Have you ever heard the song, He's Still Working On Me? I sang for the first time in public for a large audience at Revival in Atlanta, Georgia. What a joy it was to stand there, even as a little girl, and proclaim that He's Still Working On Me. It's a wonderful song written by friends of mine, Joel and Lariska Hemphill, and the message it carries is true for children and adults as well. I know myself as an adult, surely God still is working on me. You know, none of us are perfect. God says in His Word that Jesus Christ is the only perfect man to walk on the face of this earth. That means that you and I, we are far from perfect. But there is good news, and that is that God says in His Word also that you and I, we are made in His image. We're not perfect, no, but we are made in the image of God. And in Psalm chapter 139, it reads this, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, O oh God! How vast is the sum of them! Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I am awake, I am still with you. You see, God knew us before we were even born. Before we were conceived, God knew who you were. He knew your name. He knew the numbers of hairs in your head. He knew where you would live. He knew that you would grow up and become successful in whatever you did. Or perhaps find some failures along the way as well. And that's what the wonderful promises of God tell us, is that God has never done with us. He never wants to leave us nor forsake us. He's always going to be there for us, helping us through every trial, every tribulation. Helping us when the road gets rocky and enjoying things while the road is smooth. But God cares for you more than you could ever possibly imagine. That's why He does care for you so much. Because He loves you. It's out of His vast, great love for us. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. It doesn't say that God gave His Son so He could be put on a pedestal somewhere and praised for that. No. It says God gave His only Son because He loved us. He loved the world. He also gave His Son because He wanted our sins to be forgiven. Because He knew that if His Son died for the forgiveness of our sins, then we could have our sins washed away white as snow and then have everlasting life in heaven with Him. I received a lot of gifts in this life, but none so great as the love of God. None so great as salvation. It's freely given. It doesn't matter who you are doesn't matter where you are, God gives salvation freely to every person on this planet. If you don't know the love of God and don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, I urge you today to make the decision to follow Christ in all you do, to pray and ask Him for forgiveness of your sins. Ask Him to come into your heart and make you a new creation. The Bible says that old things are passed away and all things have become new. The Bible also says that today is the day of salvation. Don't wait till tomorrow. It may be too late. Call in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. I encourage you right now, wherever you are, to stop what you're doing. This is too important. And pray and ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart. Because I can tell you from personal experience, a relationship with Jesus Christ is the greatest thing anyone can have on this earth. If you watch the news, you see all the headlines and the horrible things going on in the world. But when you have hope in Jesus Christ, those things are still concerning because of the people who don't have that hope. But for me, I'm not afraid. I know that Jesus Christ will take care of me everywhere I go. And He will do the same exact thing for you. He will take care of you and be with you everywhere you go. He's never going to forget you. You're fearfully and wonderfully made by God Himself. You're special in His sight. He's still working on you. He's still working on me. And He's not ever going to stop. Even when we run astray, God still watches over us. He watches over the tiny little sparrows of the field. He watches over the flowers, the lilies. 
He makes sure that they grow and they flourish and they blossom. So how much more does He care for you and I? We are made in His image. We are special in His sight. I pray that you have a wonderful week ahead and I pray that every moment of every day that you feel the love of Jesus Christ radiating in your heart. I pray that you remember that you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You are so special in God's sight. He thinks you are so special. And I pray most of all that you will know anew the love of Jesus Christ. Because it's unconditional. It's infinite. It, there has no bounds. The love of Jesus Christ will reach to the farthest ends of the earth. In Romans we read that nothing will ever separate us from the love of Christ and the love of God. Nothing. Nothing in this world can separate you from the love of Jesus Christ. And I want to encourage you today. Tell someone about Jesus Christ and His love. You might just change their life. When they make the decision to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and you were the one who planted the seed. God bless you. Take care. And remember, Jesus loves you so very much. So when